So what's next? That's on the minds of 40 million Americans tonight after the Supreme Court struck down student loan forgiveness. Now, all student loan payments must resume in 60 days. President Biden said his administration is going to pursue another path for relief. News Channel 8's Lenny Supal joins us in the studio with reaction to the decision. Good evening, Jan. Yes, President Biden quickly bouncing back with a new plan to get relief dollars approved through the Department of Education, but the details still need to be worked out. And at the same time, families are still up against mounting debt as the cost of living continues to climb. Donning a cap, a gown, and a brilliant smile, Tiffany Watson's memories from Springfield University are vivid. It's been five years since she received her MBA, but she's still paying off her student loans. Somewhere around $1,000 um, a month for student loan debt. The high monthly balance, a major setback amid the rising cost of housing. Like myself and many others, how do you live? How do you um, focus, you know, on anything else but trying to handle that debt? Tiffany disappointed after the Supreme Court's decision striking down President Biden's $400 billion federal student loan forgiveness plan, a potential $20,000 relief to more than 400 million Americans living with federal student loan debt. The cost of attending college skyrocketing, outpacing federal support. Some people are just not going to be able to meet those obligations, which then is going to affect their credit score, um, which is a public crisis. Republicans in general need to come up with another version of how to forgive student loans. Jake Hoffman is the executive director of Tampa Bay Young Republicans. Biden's plan would have completely cleared his student loan debt, but he still supports the Supreme Court's decision. It's not really fair that people like me who have grad school loans are going to be subsidized versus people who chose not to go to college. He's challenging Republicans to create a relief plan that works. The Republicans are just saying, no, pay your own loans. That's not a very appealing message going into 2024. What I think we need to see is, a, is an overhaul and a reform of our student loan system. And they need to be looking at things like bringing the interest rates down to current loans. Meanwhile, even though the pause on repaying federal student loans ends this fall, there's still a bit of a grace period. Those who do not make payments won't be reported to credit or collection agencies over the next year, but the interest will still accrue. In the studio, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side.